What is going on, YouTube? Tom here. It's Labor Day. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day off and a three-day weekend. Because I know I am for sure finally off work, getting to enjoy myself a little bit. On my way to Starbucks to enjoy a little day off coffee and also some possible study time. I'm not sure yet. I gotta see what I decide to do. Starbucks, but just wanted to get out of the house and figured, well, I'll take the Mustang while I'm at it. Enjoy this car. Enjoy some coffee. I am planning on going to another car show tonight. One over in St. Petersburg, the Quaker Steak and Lube show. I've been to that one before a while ago, so I figured I'd go to that one again while I got Monday off. But I do think I finally got the microphone situation worked out. How to get it to sound better. Before I was filming solely in automatic mode and the problem with automatic was it was just set to the wrong frequency. And I tried manual but it just never would work right. So then I ended up just trying automatic again this time with the frequency turned down. So hopefully it's of better quality now, and I, I hope anyway. Uh, feedback is always appreciated on that one. Definitely looking at the wide angle lens though, because the problem with the current lens setup is it's just, it's too narrow of the, the field, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Problem is, it's just more annoying to use. You gotta make sure you got a lot of space to get a lot of things into the frame. A lot of people were recommending it. So I mentioned how a new lens, price-wise, would replace the GoPro, and a lot of people took that as, I want to replace my GoPro entirely, and that wasn't true. I meant to replace it as the main camera, and also within that sort of field of view, but I wouldn't actually replace the GoPro because there's a lot of functionality that the GoPro has that a bigger camera just simply doesn't have. Now this right here, this would be ideal for the GoPro, for this sort of angle, but obviously I'm using this main camera to try to test it out. Definitely I'm still working on improving the quality of vlogs with this camera. I definitely want to get back into doing more of it. The big problem is I just haven't had the time to really invest into doing YouTube more just because I've been busy with school. So I noticed my subscriber numbers are way down right now. So that's something I'm hoping to improve soon just because I want to get back into putting more time into YouTube once school starts to settle a little bit. The problem is because I'm so broke, I'm gonna, probably going to have to take a, like, a seasonal job this winter just to actually have money to spend on things. Pulling up Starbucks here. Especially if I want this lens. That's another big one and i got to put some money into this car. I've decided that quarter panel, I said I wasn't going to be this guy. But I decided for that quarter panel, the scratch is so deep and it's so annoying, I'm just gonna go ahead and have the quarter panel re repainted. So, that's gonna cost me money. Nice destroyer gray challenger right there. I know I said it wasn't gonna be that money. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, no, don't do that. That's, you just get it touched up. And yeah, I could get it touched up and I could get it looking, you know, 90% is good, but the car, this car is just too new. I've only got 3,600 miles, probably after tonight will be 3,700. So I just don't, I don't have a lot of miles on it. I just don't want to see this car turn into a, like a scratched and dinged beater yet. I'm just not in that, that mindset with this car. I love this car too much. I, like I said, I do want to keep it a long time. So that for me is like, you know, it's too early in this car to let it get that way. The first scratch is always the hardest. Everyone said it the best. So I've got that and I've got that really big rock chip on the, the roof of the car. Go ahead and park here. So it's kind of like, yes, it's, it's already got its little faults, but I just don't want to see it get more and I don't want to see it have something that big. It's the right light hits it and I see it and it's like, that just annoys me. No one else sees it but me, but to me I'm the one that matters the most. 
or the best compliment I got on how just good and well detailed the car was, I got asked yesterday at Cars and Coffee, not yesterday, Saturday at Cars and Coffee, did I just get the car? Uh, you know, I mean, realistically, kind of yes, because I've only had it for, I guess, five months now. It's really only five months, but at the same time, it's like, I've had it for almost, thir now going on 3,700 miles. This car's been driven, so, that to me, it's a good compliment when someone actually asks you, you know, did you just get it? Like, implying I just got it, like, a couple weeks ago or something. But now, I'm still in love with this car. I still got some good plans for it. I know I got a lot of got a cost coming up real, really quickly for this car because I know I've got insurance payment due and soon I gotta get this first oil change. I not probably not gonna hit the miles by the end of this month. Cause end of September it'll be six months. I won't hit I will not hit the miles, but I will hit the time and because the car's under warranty, I don't want to take a chance with that. I don't want dealers to argue things like that. I'd rather take away the chance of them arguing something. So that's coming up. And of course I said I want to get that that little area repainted and I've got some I got a mod idea which unfortunately the m monthly mods just aren't going to happen. It's going to be like quarterly mods or more, but I've got I've got an idea I want to do. I don't know if I really want to spoil it right now. I want to ask some people's opinions first. I know my opinion is the one that should matter, but it's like, nah, it's something I just want to make sure people kind of like the idea of. Something, so again, subtle that you wouldn't expect, because the thing with my car is it is very stock looking. It looks just like every other Mustang GT performance pack. I want to give something subtle to make it clear, like, okay, this is not a stock Mustang. I've got this one final little up bit of information I want to give you all before I head into Starbucks is my mom read all the comments you all left. She, she was pretty happy that you all enjoyed seeing her in a video. Because I didn't want to go with the kind of the stereotypical womanly like, I don't know anything about cars. My mom does know about cars. She might not know everything there is about cars. She said she doesn't know about the engines. You know, for example, when we saw the Demon, it was kind of like, oh, what, what does that do for you? What is that? Her mind just probably thinking, why well, is that different from the Challenger she drove? She did test drive a Challenger at one point. It's kind of like, she might not know that, but, you know, she can appreciate it, and she appreciates the story, so. Y'all made my mom feel loved, so thank you all for that one. But, in order to keep this video from getting too long, y'all let me know in the comments section below what you think about all of what I just said. Once again, any feedback for this DSLR is appreciated. I know I did have the thing where I accidentally put it into the artistic filter mode or whatever that's supposed to be. Apologize for that. I actually looked this morning, I turned it on just to make this video. I did the same thing, so I'm trying to be more cognizant of it. I'm going to use this camera, but once again, everything's a learning experience with DSLRs. So definitely, any feedback is actually appreciated because it helps me out in the long run because it helps me figure out what I'm doing and helps me make the vlogs a little bit better. But anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. Help me fix these subscriber numbers, people. I I don't want to force you to subscribe or anything, but any help it I can is great. I appreciate it. Thank you to all the loyal subscribers, even though my numbers are going down. All you loyal subs, you've stuck with this channel, and I can I can't thank you enough for that. You all are why I still do this. Why I haven't just given up on YouTube, because I know some people do give up on YouTube when they try to start a channel. So, anyway, without further ado, take care, have a good day.